everybody. If Tommy doesn't work out, he can do Shakespeare. Tell me he doesn't have a good Shakespearean voice. You want to watch The Walking Dead? He reminds me of the uh, Your Majesty from the Kingdom. You want to watch The Walking Dead? It's a show about zombies. All right, fine, fuck it. So Barry White then. <laughs> Coming to the stage next. He said he's bringing a lot of Bulgarian people. It's Ivan Manchin. Thank you, thank you. I dressed in black because uh, professional comedians, they're all dressed in black. Uh, I also like uh, drinking warm coffee with Kahlua because it keeps me warm. I mean, that's my warm-up joke. <laughs> now, really the reason I'm here is uh, I didn't feel like paying the 10-hour cover, so I had to perform. <laughs> I mean, that's good to know if you guys want to consider it. Um, I was also being asked if I can last uh, five minutes, and I remember I actually have been asked that before, and uh, I mean, it really depends on the girl, and uh, somehow it also depends on the condom I use. Uh, I mean, they ask me, you're such a nice guy, how come you don't have kids? I tell them, well, I mean, I use condoms. Uh, when I went to the pharmacy and I told the lady, I mean, I want a 24 pack of condoms, uh, she said, do you need a bag? And I said, no, my girlfriend is pretty. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now, uh, earlier we were talking about the Italians, and I do have Italian joke. Um, but I mean, I'm from Bulgaria, it's right next to Greece. If you know the Greeks invented sex, but actually the Italians introduced it to women. in the Bible Belt, and I'll tell you what, it's very hard, you know, to be dating when you're in the Bible date Belt, because uh, most women already are in a relationship with Christ, so I mean, I tell them, you're not available if you're already in a relationship. Uh, so yeah, I shouldn't be touching up on some topics like uh, politics and religion, but I mean, if we exclude that, uh, what's left? I mean, sex is left. <laughs> so let's get back to the, you know, to that topic. Uh, do you know the number one reason for divorce? I mean, it's marriage, of course. Uh, statistic, statistic shows that married men and women tend to divorce more often. Uh, now, as far as dating is concerned, um, do you know the one thing harder for dating other than living with your parents? Do you know what that is? Uh, that's living with your wife. That makes dating pretty hard. Uh, let's talk um, about Tinder, okay? It doesn't work and uh, it kind of pisses me off a little bit uh, because I cannot restrict some criteria. I can restrict the mouse and the age. But I mean, honestly, I don't mean to be rude, but I want to restrict other things like, you know, pounds or beauty or this and that. Because uh, some girls there are not dateable. And to be honest, they have to first, you know, hit the gym before they post pictures there. Yes, I am a hard guy, but if you, if you look at the physics, it's kind of more important for the girl to be attractive because it's easier for girls to fake orgasms, but it's not very easy to fake an erection. So, <laughs> girls just have that in mind, you know, uh, for future sake. Now, we have, uh, you know, in my country, humor is different. We actually have uh, a setup of a joke and you just like tell the story. So uh, there was a German, Russian 
and uh, American. So they asked them how many watermelons they can carry. So the American, he said, well, two. One, on my, one under my left hand, one under my right hand. Then the German, he said, no, I can carry three. Then I go, what do you mean? These are big watermelons. He said, oh, no problem. One under my left hand, one under my right arm, and I'll punch one on my dick. <laughs> so the Russian, he said, I can carry five. And they're like, well, sir, these are big watermelons. How can you carry five? He said, no problem. One under my right arm, one under my left arm, and I'll punch the German on my dick. <laughs> yeah. So, really quick story um, made me think about uh, space, cosmos, and the universe. The most accepted theory is the Bing Bang theory, which tells now everything in space is shifting away, which means if you go back in the past, it was really coming down to a singularity of an atom. But what I realized about the Big Bang, that atom is actually a sperm cell, and the Big Bang is when your dad was banging your mom, and you know, that's how you came to existence. So, in my opinion, this is actually more uh, likely to believe, uh, no, this is less likely to believe than the bubble version where, I mean, God, got for me and uh, he came to see Mary. Okay, and again, my name is Ivan, thank you for listening. Um, if, in case you want to follow me, this is how I look from the back. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you. Ivan Manchester, everybody! Ivan Manchester! Good deal, Frank. Good. That was Frank's referral. Frank gets a This is the second guy who wrote me that's good, Frank.